All right. All right. Hey, guys. Um, so, guys, we're starting this podcast. Uh, our name is Boss Moves Only. I'm BMO. Wow, yeah. It's your boy, Jose. Um, yeah. Our, our other brother to unlock Beepo. Where you at? Yeah. And this is Beats. What it do? Yes, Not sir. Beef. So, guys, we're starting uh, this podcast. We're um, so our podcast is going to be about um, you know, like the name sounds. So, boss moves only. What What do you guys think when it comes to bosses? Uh, what do bosses do? Uh, how do you become a boss? And how you start? And uh-huh. and you know. You know, crazy stories that uh, some bosses go through. You feel me? Like, you could be a boss in any type of way. Like, we're all yeah. bosses or stuff, but, um, we're, you know, we're just different. So we just came together uh, to make this podcast to see, you know, different stories, you know, different people talking. We want to hear everybody's um, perspective. All right. What's up? Ask us for any fucking advice on how to be a fucking boss. I'll, we got the answers. Uh-huh. Well, but I'm just grateful to be, got to be grateful. I'm, I'm kind of grateful to be doing this with my buddies. First episode, just, so just r- ride the way with us. Yeah. Hey, another thing is, uh, Jose. Uh, <laughs> be, be serious, <laughs> man. Uh, bro, this was all burnt. <laughs> I this one is burning as fuck. Viva, it's a podcast, bro. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All, right. All right, but you do, you do what Jose sparked that shit up, bro. I couldn't. <laughs> hey, you guys should join me. We, we do it, Sesh. We'll, we'll, do all, we'll do all kinds of shit on this. It, it, it threw me off. It threw me off guard. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. I get anxiety. Right. But, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Ooh, no. we'll, we'll do shit like this on the regular fucking whatever. You feel me? Anyway, uh, check this out. Uh, I, I told I told some of y'all on my Instagram. If y'all had any questions or anything, jam me up. Fucking, let's answer some of these questions that some that some supporters fucking shot us. Yeah. All right. So I'll show y'all what, what we about. All right. Okay. I'm not, I'm not I'm not gonna say say who sent them, but I'll, I'll say I'll say the questions. Okay. The first one I got. Why do guys play the victim? When they fuck up, play the victim. Um, so <laughs> I would depend. Like I would. This is like I, a a perspective question. Why do guys play the victim when you get caught? I mean, it just depends. I think it, it depends on the person, the type of person they are. If some people the thing is the way I am, I can only speak for myself. But like the way I am, I kind of tell you what's up front uh, about the situation and. If I get caught, it's not I'm not really getting caught because I already told you up front what it is and like how I do things, you know. So I think it's just uh, some guys lie about the situation. And so when they actually get caught, you know, they it's their coping mechanism. So they have to be like, yo, um, you know, it's only because you did this to me. You did this, that and that, you know, so that's why they play the victim from my perspective. What do you think, Jose? Well, I mean, probably from her her perspective too, because you got to look at it from both angles. She might she might be the one fucking up too. So, how uh, how some men are raised in the society nowadays? They play the victim, and honestly, females do too. Right? And it doesn't get any better if both people playing the victim. You know. Okay. Yeah, so you know, collectively we think like maybe, maybe her fault, or maybe it'd be a collectively uh, programming um, on how we uh, grew up as a person, and you know our coping mecha- me- mechanisms. So, this what goes on in our minds during and before and after sex. What goes on during? Uh, or it's only obvious before I'm trying to get it in. Yes, but sir. D- during, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to fucking see how long I can last. <laughs> about about cool three to five minutes, but if I if I'm all faded or something, then I'm going all night. Okay. But after sex, after sex, I'm like, nah, don't touch me. It's fucking hot, and you kind of ugly now. So, whoa. <laughs> 
Damn. Whoa, that's that post nut clarity, huh? I come to my senses. <laughs> that's definitely that post nut clarity, I would say. Yeah. For me? Um, oh, yeah, go ahead. No, nah, go ahead, yeah. No, nah, you're about to say something. Go ahead. Uh, no, nah, I forgot what I was gonna say. You say it first. What the heck? Uh, um, <laughs> so <laughs> basically, I would, I for me, I would, um, so before, man, I'm I'm trying things, you know, I'm a physical guy, so I like to, I like to touch a lot, so like I'm touching all over, you feel me? Like, I'm trying to see, you know, which body part, huh? gotta keep your whole fucking body active basically like i'm trying to see what she feel what she's into you feel me so i'm just touching all types you know if she makes you know a little noise like if i'm touch this place specifically like no, if i'm makes... not really trying to see what she's into because i'm into a lot of shit i want to know i'm into I got... a lot of shit too but i'm more i'm naturally a, pre- a pleaser you know because i'm naturally you know, a fucking freak so i'm a freak too but uh but i'm more of a pleaser like i like to grab things so um I'm know. seeing what she's into, what I'm into, and we just you know keep a play from there. And then while we're in it, man, I'm I'm tearing that thing up. Like I'm going, like I'm seeing what she likes, you know, too. Like I before I asked, you know, I probably asked what things are you into. So you know, when I'm in there, I'm just doing you know things that, it, that she's into. And you know, you know, E40 song, you know, I last so long. Damn, I got superpowers. <laughs> Hey, I, let's I like that. So you feel me? Like I'd be, I'd be in there, just like it's in there. And then after, yeah. like I don't have that post nut clarity me because you know it, huh? all the girls huh? that I'm into, like all you know, I, be, I like a little something about them. You feel me? Like I'm not really like, like, yeah. So that's from yeah. My bad, my bad. Whenever we go, we don't even go out to Mac on girls like. A lot of guys they go out and they're like, "Hey, where are the bitches at?" Uh, this and that, and they just go out talk- to have fun. And then they, they get, they get, they get, curved. yeah, butt hurt. Then, yeah, I, I think that shit all the time. And they're like, "Dude, dude these bitches ain't shit." Like just because they, it's funny. We go out, we're, we go out to have a cool time, which is what you got. What everybody's supposed to do. Like you're supposed to go out to have a good time. You don't want to go. Yeah. Out to the fuck are the, like let's, let's go let's go fucking let's go pipe some random bitches. I mean, fuck. If you drunk, if you drunk, then when when I when I start drinking, my dick does all my thinking. And I'm, I'm always drunk, so I feel <laughs> that. I feel that. But what's it called? I think I think nice it's question. like a whole. I think it's a whole paradigm shift. Wait, wait, wait. Let me continue on this. I think it's a whole paradigm shift when it comes to people uh, uh, going out and stuff. Yeah, most guys are like, oh, where's the bitches? Or they're just standing in one area, in particular, just like like standing in one area, saying like, oh, there's no bitches here. Well, there's plenty of a lady. I mean, not. I mean, there's plenty of ladies there. You know, like. like <clears throat> But they just they're just like they're not really confident in themselves, you know, and I think the boss move to do in that situation is you have to go up to them and like talk to them like just have fun. I would say that's why our paradigm is a lot funner. Uh, That's why a lot of girls come to us when we're out because we're just on a we're on a shift of uh, having fun, you know, like I think that's like what would the boss move be for that situation, guys? What do you what would you guys think? You got now you you and situations like that anytime in life that something makes you feel uncomfortable you gotta you gotta force yourself to fucking get out there that way you get used to it you gotta make the uncomfortable comfortable just fucking even you're gonna fuck up at first and that's cool but just accept it and fucking ne- next time fucking bounce back hit and do it again and you'll get better over time if it's like fucking ten a hundred times some motherfuckers get it pretty quick when you support someone does that mean you have to support everything they do even if you disagree. That's about all fucking obvious. <laughs> hmm. Fuck with somebody on that level, then obviously you got to tell them what you give them your fucking full opinion. Don't don't ever don't call somebody stupid or fucking call them dumb because of their choices. <clears throat> I see. I we, think we talk about that in this book called "How to Win Friends and Influence People," which y'all should fucking check out. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good book by Dale Carnegie. Um. Uh, yeah, I would say that too. I mean, if you if you actually, uh, you, so you have to give your full. Well, I would say, 
full support sometimes because if you're actually with that person I, you then you see them as a partner you see them as maybe like an associate or assistant and by mm-hmm. my terms of so assistant what i think of uh, assistant is someone that's always there someone that's a partner basically your partner in a situation and like someone that gives you a, a, a level change of um of of an idea maybe something that gives the opposite of an idea or maybe someone that gives a different perspective of of that idea and maybe that um, from those two perspectives you can build up on that type of project or something like that so i would say yeah uh, give your support to you know other people uh, the person that you're with actually your partner because that's your partner you know oh uh, yeah to the fullest yeah mm-hmm. before what would you think I think you're right. Just live life to the fullest. <laughs> this one did not listen to the shit you just Dude, said. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, good shit, though, Vilo. I, I feel it. Fucking. I mean, I haven't really been in that situation that much, but I feel like I've been the person that they're talking about a lot of times because I always make a lot of crazy ass decisions and people are always trying to tell me, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah. But I say, you got to make the uncomfortable comfortable. That is true. But I'm always going to say that's a motto. Okay. Well, the last question When you're in a relationship, should you listen to other people's opinions about your relationship? Or do you kindly tell them thank you, but res- respectfully don't comment on mine? What? You tell them, fuck off. This is my relationship. Or dry out of my fucking mouth. Yeah, dude. I'm your fucking I business. hate when people try I- to get into other people's relationship, man. It's like, keep that Girl, shit from their to friend. yourself or to your little group. Don't be talking to... So do we. You know? Yeah. So... In my situation, I would give it, I would be like, um, I would this is probably, helping. I would probably be like, yo, like uh I would take the criticism and like maybe uh see through it. Maybe uh I would act on it. I wouldn't act on it, but I would probably like see if it's the you know, say like she's cheating on me, I'd probably see if it's true or not, or like I wouldn't be paranoid, but I'd probably come up front with it. I like I say but- I'll but I, I think, I think, because a lot of shit could be more like petty, like saying all the petty shit, like, hey, well, why do you do this for him? Or why do you do that for her? Or like, it's all, all little shit, because a little shit adds up. Hmm. I mean, I'll probably address the situation before, before I even, you know, that even happens or that comes up. So, um, yeah, that's something I would do. I would address it. Hey, if you got people like if you if you're happy with, with, with who you're with and you got people co- commenting on that, th- those are people you got to cut off. And it's fucked up because the people that norm are that that's normally is like the people some people that are close to you, like the, even family could be doing that shit. Right? Yeah, that, but you know up front because you got to say you got to fucking set an example. Well, I wouldn't say set an example. I'll just I'll just address the problem to the person or to the people that are saying these things. I would address the problem. Be like, oh yeah, no, man. I'm sorry. You know, thank you for your input, but I really don't like uh, when people come talk to me about like you know situation. Um, but thing is, for that is like, uh, so Mana. So I have one uh, person in chat. She said that she feels like I also feel like something. Sometimes family friends can see something you can't. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. And did I hear that right? That's that sounded pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah, that I mean that that is true. Depending on what type of family you're yeah, raised you're in, in. Right. Yeah. Cause some some families, some parents are delusional, some brothers are delusional. You know, you know, it just depends on the person, I would say. But like if you have like a strong core family, um oh uh, shit uh if you have a strong core family that likes to protect you and like uh wants the best for you um then yeah i would definitely listen to him definitely listen to him because like the only person that like you know this guy may just want to you know fuck you and you know dump you to the sign and then maybe your brother sees that and he's just like oh this guy's a 
this guy's like trash. Just get him out of here, you know? Like, and you don't Unless you're I was, I was, I was thinking of it like that. I don't know why. I, yeah. I, I was, yeah, like. It's, it sounds like, it sounds like from the comment that he's saying, though, it sounds like uh, he's he's got a lot of petty people around him. Yeah, I mean, this depends on depends on the person, right? When your environment. Some families are batshit crazy. My um my viewer said. Yeah, straight up for sure. The majority. Majority, yeah. I think, uh, yeah. I mean, in LA or any type of like, um, environment rich people. Uh, there's gonna be some batshit crazy people, especially when there's a lot of people out here. Like LA is like, like I'm... almost ten times the <laughs> population. Mm-hmm. You you guys out there, it's a ta- it's hella cool. Cause up here in the valley, it's all dead. Like we we got it. We just all got your guys' energy. It's so it's so crazy. Cause up here, if you guys go up here, you could definitely read the energies that how different they are out there. A lot of you guys are like more outgoing. Uh, that's why, and I've always somewhat ha- had that in me. That way, went, that that's why whenever I went out there, I felt like I was in fucking home over there. Why? Because we have um, more outgoing energy. I would say so. I would say so. Over here, it's kind of dry. I mean, you could you 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 could get you could you could find some people like that. Not gonna be a lot, or you could even. But me, I take that energy out of people. So yeah, that's why I, I fucking I got on lock. Let's go. So hey, I think bro. I think that the whole uh, situation of uh giving uh like like you said you take that energy out of people. I feel like the yeah the whole situation is you're giving energy to people. So like I think we're just like high energy people so we just give that energy to people and that brings out the the you know anything in them because I, I it's funny cuz a lot of people will see will see that it that it's working for me but if I go out and a, a lot of people, I'll see some motherfuckers come up and try to copy, like they'll try to steal it from me, but they just like they, they try to steal, uh, steal my flow, but they just make it fucking lame. Yeah, I mean, because everyone yeah. has their own thing that you know, I feel like everyone has their own oh. thing that they do, and um, uh, we, we're just like all different people with different perspectives. And sometimes, if so, this works for somebody, this might not work for another person, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's uh oh, some of yourselves fucking suck. Y'all need to start working on, on a lot of you guys need to start working on yourself. I think I think the first uh plot or the first thing someone should realize is um how to be aware of your environment and like self-aware, like social conditioning, because like you know, this person, the majority of people might not look like what you know this person is doing, and that's why they're like lower on the social platform. Yeah. Uh, you know, You're- if you just get a collectively and start doing things collectively and taking other people's perspectives and uh and ideas and stuff, uh, it might better yourself up to be like um maybe look better or do something better, you know, in society. I mean, because like I think it's we're we're human, so we're a natural, natural right. socially yeah. people. I might have to uh, disagree a little with you. You're right, that, that is one I would say that's one of the first steps, but I don't mm-hmm. think that's a step to fucking uh coming up in like in status and shit like that i think the first step would be honestly taking ownership like what the fuck am i doing wrong this and that which is another book you guys gotta fucking read uh extreme ownership by who, jocko, who jocko willick yeah jocko, yeah that yeah y'all need to check that out just, just recognize what the fuck you're doing wrong and just take blame for everything that's fucked up in your life everything uh-huh. yeah he so jocko willick uh, does this thing where he takes yeah he does take ownership of um, any situation, anything that you're in, he takes ownership of that situation to benefit his life. And look where he's at now, you know. So does David Goggins. Yeah, a lot of a lot of men in this in this age can't even take ownership. Honestly, it's pathetic. Yeah, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's pathetic, but I would say it's like it's <laughs> unnerving because you know, like I'm because it's pathetic. <laughs> Well, I think because like you, I mean, people, some people like around us don't take ownership as well. So I, I wouldn't say pathetic. I would just say it's it's kind of it's crazy how much people don't take ownership of their own things that they do. 
Well, we like to, a lot of people, we like to they even play the blame game on this world. We all like to think of ourselves as perfect. They're like, what am I doing wrong? This and that. Yeah. I'm talking- yeah. A lot of people start. And <laughs> what I hate too, the thing I hate though is when you start to realize that, um, you know, you're not perfect and you kind of like down settle yourself a little bit and downgrade and like, that's when people shit on you the most, man. It's it's horrible. So honestly, don't ever make yourself feel like you're not perfect. Always gonna get that's gonna, even when you're upgrading, bro. You're always gonna get mm-hmm. fucking shit. Yeah, that is true. But, but what you do in that situation is you just fucking build a mentality to where I don't give a fuck. It's good that if you've been a true because yeah. that shit humbles you up, and then when you get to the top, like you start, you really stop giving a fuck. Oh well, what people. So like, you got to build that fucking that aura that fucking. A shield on the lake. Mo- yep. yep. But if, if push comes to shove, then I fucking you always know, pop pop a motherfucker in his mouth. I'm not gonna dummy violence, but whoa, push we're not attacking that like that. All right, but um, <laughs> I think it's about level. I'm fucking high. You man, I wish we were high together. No, um, I'm not, but uh. Uh, Bimo, hey, Bimo, Bimo, Bimo's a saint, everybody. Bimo don't, don't smoke. Bimo don't drink. It's a good I mean, the thing is, I, I did before. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, but He's never, never taking it to the max. I'm, I'm going to get this full fucked up one of these days. Taking to, I have I'm taken take, it to the max. And, I want, we got, I've never seen this guy. I've seen him high, but I want to see this full fucking faded. <laughs> I'll take care. Hey, um, what's it called? Um, Basuma in my chat says, I think it's crazy that a lot of people consider themselves to be good. What do you guys think about that? That's basically like what I just said earlier. Whenever everybody ha- everybody in the world has this desire to be important. And a lot mm-hmm. of people think that they're that they're perfect. Like it's funny because ah, fuck. I don't I don't know how to say it, but I, I was trying I was trying to give this one girl advice and and she ended, she ended up hitting me back with saying, oh, well, that, that's not true because I don't do that because she thought that she was perfect in her head. Mm. And it just made me like this. Like, this is how a lot of people think. They're like, oh, I don't do that. And I'm perfect. I think I think you're uh, a little bit right on that opinion. I think everyone has an ego. And so their own ego uh, denies and um, applies what they're uh, going, you know, what they think of themselves. And, uh, and oh, you know. And it has like it has like a um, a verif- verification moment. Like so, so say like, oh yeah, I hooked up with a ten. I, you know, just because one person, you know, you did it one time, it it makes you think that like, oh yeah, all I get is with tens now. You know, that's why if you see a guy and he's an average looking guy, and you see him with you see him with a baddie, you then his ego's gonna go up. His he's standards. Gonna, he's gonna have ego, a yeah. other girl like that. If yeah. you get it's like it's like and another another book it's uh 12, 12 rules of life by Jordan B Peterson he mentions it if you win a if just like in the animal kingdom it works like this if you win a fight you're more than likely to win a, your next fight if you lose if you lose a fight then you're more than likely to lose your next fight because you're just building that that mentality and if you could pull a baddie then you're gonna think oh I could pull another baddie and that's how it works because like if you see a guy and he ends up cheating on her. Her ego goes down and his goes more up. It's crazy. It's fucked up how it works, but that's the harsh reality of it. Yeah, it is. I think it is uh, somewhat of a momentum type of thing as well, because it is. Yeah. You know, momentum is crazy in life because anything that we're going to get um, in doing, I think it's this uh, exponential growth. You know, if you study this one subject, you know, for 10,000 hours, you, you know, you become a master at it because I think it's like, our, our growth, our growth curve is basically we're, we're steadily going uh, straight and then we just have an exponential growth. So I think humans in general, just the way we build skills, the way we build all types of things is just exponential. Yeah. True. Our reality of it. Yeah. It's crazy how life works. But yeah. Everybody, fucking! I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my night cracking. I don't know what you guys got going on, but happy Halloween to everybody out there. Yeah, happy Halloween. But 
Hey, yeah. Happy Halloween, bosses. You know, let's get out there. Let's make boss moves. The heart, right? This way with us. And yes, sir. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to call.